Hello everybody and welcome back to another SFML tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to talk about views. First of all, what is a view? A view basically is a 2D camera. So we define the size for it and it will show us only that area, only the size that we specified. And why do we need it? Well, because right now, if we would change the screen size, we would see a way smaller tux because our tux is defined in pixels. And if we were to change the screen size, well, the amount of pixels a tux would take and would still be the same. But if we were to apply a view, then we would always just see the view. So basically, we would have a view and that will be stretched out to the entire screen. So the view will become the new screen. It doesn't matter what the amount of pixels is on the screen. You always see the amount of pixels that the view wants to see. So now that we know what a view is, let's create one. Creating a view is actually quite easy. The only thing that we have to do is we have to create an SF view and let's call the view. And then in the constructor, we need to put two different things. First of all, the center. The center of the view is basically where in the world the view is. And the second thing that we need is the size. So that's the size of the view. So right now we're just going to put it to the same size as the window size. But later we will modify this and make it so it will look the same on all different monitors. But well, let's first just implement a view. So let's start with the SF vector 2F for the center. This can basically just be 0 to 0 f for now. Since we'll be sending this to the player's position. The second thing that we're going to need is another SF vector 2F. And this will contain the screen size for now. So 512 by 512. And that's it. That's our entire view. So let's now use the view. In order to use a view, we'll have to set it. We have to set the windows view. So in order to set the view, we'll have to set it every frame because we can use different views. So for instance, if we want to make a two player game, we use two different views that take up half of the screen. So in order to set a view, we have to type in window that set view. And then we can simply pass in a view. So right now just view. And this will set the view. Right now you won't see much of a difference other than that the tux is yeah, outside of the screen because we haven't set the origin correct yet. So let's do that now. Okay, now that we have set the view, it's time to set the origin of the view. So what we want to do is we want to set the view's origin to the player's position. So we'll first have to create a get position function for the player. And don't worry about the position, we already have it. The position is stored in the body. So if we were to go to the player, so player.h and we we simply need to create a getter function for that. It needs to be an SF vector 2f since it contains two floats. And let's just call it get position. And what this needs to return is body.getPosition. Since the body already has a position inside of it. So now in main.cpp, we simply want to call view.setCenter to player.getPosition. We have to make sure that we call this after we call player.update. Otherwise, we're going to have some weird problems and you will have like a slight delay when you move the camera. So you basically move the camera a frame later and I'll show you what that looks like later. But on a slow computer, you can definitely see the difference. Oh, player to get position must return a value. Oh, sorry, I forgot return. OK, what you can see now is that our tux is moving or at least I guess uh, we can not really see that it's moving because, yeah, the background is just blank. But what you also can see is that our tux is not in the center. Well, actually he is. The top left corner is in the center. So this part of tux is in the center. That's because we did not set the origin. That's one thing that's really important that we should also do. We should set the origin of tux to half the size of tux. So let's do that too. Okay, so let's go to the constructor of the player and type in body.setOrigin, uh, body.getSize, divided by 2.0f. Okay, so if we now run the program again, you will see the tux is actually in the center. Okay, let's now see what it looks like if we update the view first, before we call the update of the player. So we'll move this view that sits center upwards. Oh, remove that weird character and run it again. What you will see if you move around is that it's kind of jittery. It's jumping around. It's, it's not right. It might not be visible that well in the video, but... Yeah, so uh, this way it is. Like, you can definitely see that it's jittering. That's because we're basically setting the view position and then we're also moving the player. But because we're moving the player without a time, you will see the difference in distance. So it will be moved a different distance every time because the delta time is never the same. So in order to fix this, we just have to make sure that we call view that sits center after we do the update. I just wanted to show you guys that because this is a problem that I have to, uh, I've dealt with in the past and this is a quick solution for that. Okay, the next thing that we want to do is make it so, yeah, it looks the same on all monitors. Because right now, if you run the program, 
you will see that whenever we resize it, our text will either be stretched out or it will be, yeah, it's even smaller than it should be. But what you also will see is that the height, the height actually stays the same. The height is correct. The height of the tux will always be correct. It's only the width that's wrong. So that's actually pretty easy to fix. The only thing that we have to do is, uh, first of all, define the size of the view that we want. So basically the height of the view that we want. So let's just create a static const float called win view height. And let's set it equal to 512 since that's the value that we currently use. Okay, and now we can set this to view height and this to view height too. And let's now create a function that will do the resizing for us. If you remember, SFML has something called events. And there are events for all different things, all different things that the computer does and you might want to use. And one of the events that it also has is uh, SF event resized. And this event, this event resized will be called every time it will resize the window. So the event will be called as soon as I release the mouse button now. So now the event is called. 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 So what we can do is we can call a specific function that will basically resize the view to the correct width. So make it so it will yeah, look normal on all monitors. The reason that we want to make a function for that is because you cannot create variables inside of a switch statement. Okay, so let's create the function. The function just needs to return a void uh, and let's call it resize view. And it needs an SF render window. There's a render window, just call it window, and let's make it a constant and, const and, and it also needs an SF view and called view. Why do we need a render window? Well, because we need the size of the window. We need to get aspect ratio in order to specify how width our view should be in order to make it look normal. And we need to view because we want to modify that view. So let's call that function first. So down here, when we have the resized event, simply call resize view with window and view. So in here, we'll first have to define the aspect ratio. How do we get the aspect ratio? Well, it's actually quite easy. Getting the aspect ratio is literally just dividing the width of the window by the height of the window. So what we can do is uh, create a float called aspect ratio is set it equal to a float version of window dot get size dot x divided by a float version of window dot get size dot y. Why do I make it a float version? Because it returns a vector to you, so unsigned integer. And yeah, we want to float since the aspect ratio is going to have a comma. It's going to have something behind the comma or dot for American viewers, I think. Okay, so let's now set the view size. It's literally that easy. So now we can do view.setSize, view height, multiplied by aspect ratio, and then view height. And that's it. This will do it. So now if you run the program again, what you will see now is that if you resize the window, that our tux will look still the same. So if we make it full screen, our tux will still look fine. If we make it smaller, our tux will still be fine. If we stretch it out by a lot, our tux will still look fine. Even if you make it really tiny, what you will see is that the size of the text compared to the window will stay exactly the same. The only thing that will change is the amount that we can see on the sides. So there are two things that we can do is we can either make a black bar on the sides whenever the uh, view is too wide or just keep it like that and make it so the player can see more. So that's basically all I wanted to talk about in this episode. I thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.